My guests today are Spencer Steidenbach and Heather Downing. How are you guys? Great. How are you? We're I'm good. Doing great. Hey, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm here in Oslo for the very first time. Have mm. you guys been here before? I have. Last year, yeah, we last year. You guys we went. been everywhere. <sighs> Not as much as her. Not as much as her. Nah. But uh, part of it is because you guys are doing a lot of public speaking, and you guys are awesome. Uh, but part of it is because you have a podcast, and you're sort of a traveling, roving podcast. Is that right? Yes. What's it called? Tell me about it. So it's the Hello World Show, and what we do is we ask our the our presenters to tell us something in about five to ten minutes and use a visual com have a visual component attached to it so mm -hmm. either a uh, computer presentation or usually a whiteboard or um, it's usually a whiteboard even those are your computer people yes a lot of people you choose to use that it's true because it's easy in just a few minutes to talk about a concept abstractly in, in just a, in a a really easy way sometimes it's best to just use little stick figures or uh -huh. in this case maybe um, like when Michelle Bustamante did some work with us, she just kind of showed She's us. She's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Just showed us the way just at a high level, you know, where things would live. And it was just easier to draw circles and lines than it was to bust out a computer. Um, so because of the visual component, we decided to put it on YouTube because that was one of the best places to put um, any sort of like video style. So it's really mm -hmm. like a, like, it's not exactly a vlog. It's just a YouTube channel or YouTube show. Sure. That's, I just recently migrated my show to YouTube. Yeah. How long have you guys been doing this? A year. Yeah. One this year? This is our one year anniversary, the oh, first time we ever did it. I know. What was yeah. the first show done? At NDC Oslo. At NDC Oslo. Oh, was yeah. that right? Yes. Yeah, that was our first time doing it. We had so many guests. It was really crazy. Yes, it was a whirlwind. Yeah. Who was guest number one? Woody Zool. Woody Zool. What do you talk about? He talked about mob programming. Yeah. Mob programming. I'll yes. watch this show. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah no. He, Don't spoil it for me. I'll watch it. <laughs> He's he's terrific, and yes. it was definitely an, it's gr it's grown and, and changed and adapted because we kind of we almost had like the f the Facebook approach to this. We just kind of like went fast and broke things, <laughs> meaning yes. that we really stumbled <laughs> along the way. Um, there was no guide to how to do this. Yep. I watched a whole bunch of YouTubers previously to figure out kind of what is important, which was content. So no matter the quality of, of your camera gear or anything like that, as long as the topic is interesting, yeah. that is the basis for everything. And we know so many awesome speakers. So we wanted to see if we could compress this into a time frame that would work for people with ADD like myself. <laughs> and, and, and so that's just kind of where it all started. All right. So it's always less than 10 minutes. That keeps it. 10 uh, tends to be, yes. Yes. Ten, yeah. Uh, or almost always less good, than. Good amount of time for um, a YouTube kind of yeah. display. Yeah. How many yeah. shows have you done so far? Right now we're on show number 32. Okay. And we've done, this we're in the middle of the second season. Currently. Oh, you have seasons? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we did. Like we kind of after we go to s certain conferences where there's a break. And so we're like, well, I guess that was the end of season one then. <laughs> yeah. We can exactly. go home and have Christmas. Exactly. And, you know. <laughs> kind of group them up together like that. Yeah. And then we just kind of took a look at wh what, what way do we want to go with this next group of um, places that we're going or the uh. people that are there. And sometimes it, it, it has taken a little bit of an iterative approach as well. So our first show is night and day difference to what we do right now. Yes. Well, tell me about that. What's, how did they evolve? Um, well, I, from a technical perspective, like I am a lot less nervous because like before, <laughs> but when we first, first came to Oslo, we had, um, our microphone, like we were using, we're using headset mics, which mm -hmm. is the same mics we use on the show. Uh -huh. Uh, before that we were using, um, Thanks shotgun. for letting me borrow your microphone. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, before that we were using shotgun microphones, uh -huh. um, which were, uh, wi which if, as you can imagine, there's a lot of background noise. You can't, you probably can't hear it, but, uh, there's a lot of background noise from all the speakers. So yeah. The and, and audio that audio is the hardest part. Of it this. is very much the hardest part um, and we went and actually I went to Carl Franklin and asked him like dude I'm having so much trouble with these shotgun microphones and he just looked at me and he and he and he, sh and he had this is the same microphone they use on dotnet rocks and he said get these they're great and that's I interesting like, I did the same thing I, I talked to Carl who has uh, an excellent podcast not in term not only in terms of content but in terms of audio quality the, mm. he is a master right. Oh, they're the so audio good. File. Yes. And, and I learned a little bit from watching Channel 9 as well, yeah. um, their engagement about what was important about lighting and mm -hmm. um, video quality. What's funny is that I started out with a DSLR, and since then I have um, changed uh, my personal phone. And because of the high-powered hardware that they've got 
uh, specifically on these phones now, it actually takes better quality video what? than what really? it did in my DSLR. Wow. And he can attest to this. So that, that I, I set it up, and it was it was so much different when we did this in Minnesota that I decided I'm going to see if we can do our secondary shots just with my mm. phone. And then I started looking into it, and a lot of YouTubers are starting to do that as well because it's just so much more compact. Sure. It's easier to travel with them. It yes. is, and it forces you to immediately like upload it somewhere so it doesn't just live persist on your phone I and take space. I have lost some videos. It's right. Really, it's the most depressing thing. Yes, it is awful. I know, yeah. I know. And of course, now we do have one more format that we've been doing. So uh, NDC has been so supportive and gracious to us, and we decided to do a one-hour slot of our live format. So kind cool. of like... We wanted to be the, on the late stage. On, on stage. stage, we wanted to be the late night talk show host, right? And so we did that with a panel of four at London this January. Mm -hmm. We got asked back to do it in Minnesota, and we're going to do it here in Oslo too. Who's, who's so on the panel for this time? Yeah, yeah. So we got Richard Campbell, mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy Bogard. Yeah. Um, gosh, uh, I can't remember her name. Her Tess Verandes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and who's the fourth? <laughs> well, that's a pretty awesome trio right there. Yes. What is it? Me. It's me. No. no. It's Richard, Jimmy, Seth, and Tess. Seth. That's right. Okay. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes. But the first ones, I mean, we had... She uh, does a lot of the booking. So it, was, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> I booked the, the people. Uh, so the first one we ever did was we had Troy Hunt, John Skeet, Felina, and Scott Hanselman. And they were wow. our very first panel. Amazing. And they were... They were great yeah. in London. They had such a great response that we decided to do it again. Yes. But so the difference here is that we put constraints on our speakers and say you got seven minutes so it better be important whatever you put <laughs> in that seven minutes you're not allowed to join on for two hours yeah. and you'd be surprised how much how quickly they get to the point yeah. and people have just take just as much away from that time and then we allowed the panelists to ask each other questions about it cool. and then we ask the audience live question you know any questions that they would have so it's just a different format from what we do on the YouTube show but it has proven to be really popular yes yeah, you mentioned these names, and I, uh, what struck me is uh, all those people you mentioned, really, really smart people, great yeah. technologists, and every one, one of them, really nice people. And I've oh noticed yes. that, that. So my show has given me an opportunity to engage with folks in the community, like yourselves, mm -hmm. and it's really rare that you meet somebody like, you know, that, that, that I don't like, that I, on a personal level. Yeah. Isn't uh, able to accommodate a request. Well, it does happen occasionally. We've had a couple of rare. guests that we may not have personally gotten along with, but they usually have something really valuable to share. Oh, we like have? Yes. Oh, <laughs> is, are, is that any of them, are any of them sitting in this room right now? No, not oh. in this room. Okay. Not in this room <laughs> currently, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> are you... Um, uh, so my show is called Technology and Friends. So I want to talk a little bit about the technology of your show. You, you mentioned these microphones here that I'm wearing. I'm, I'm borrowing it. What, uh, what brand is this? Uh, <laughs> DPA, I think. DP, okay. Yeah, All right. Tell me a little bit about some of the other technology you use. Uh, the hardware. We, I'll start we, with that. we use a Zoom recorder and then... Um, Zoom, that's what I use as well. Yeah, Same yeah. Model, they're, they're, yeah, it's, yeah, and I, then I use um, some headphones. I just use some regular noise-canceling headphones by Bose to just like test audio with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then I, I have a Canon T3i that that's I, that I okay. use. Yes, that's but I'll probably, I'll probably switch to using the phone like Heather has. Okay. Yeah. I, have, I have a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. It has the brand new additional uh, dual lens on it so that mm. I actually there's no loss whatsoever of any sort of quality because one of them is more shallow depth of field and one Got of them it. is more so broad. When you zoom in, for example, you're I don't not even just have digitally to. zooming. Either. Yes, it, 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 it switches between them, so the mm. there's no quality loss at all. Uh -huh. It's the same as when I use my Nikon um, D7000. It was just the same. And uh, then when it came to like color perception, my phone was better. Mm. Okay. I thought that was really interesting that the sensor on it was actually more high powered. And it, that is something we're starting to see a lot more is compact ways of being able to capture things. It's kind of amazing how much that, that has changed and grown in the yeah. industry. Just in the past year since, oh we yeah. since we started. Absolutely. I mean, I've spent six weeks going across Europe with just a tripod on my phone, and I was able to set things up on a timer and, and do all sorts of additional like time-lapse shots that look just like I did them with a the DSLR. Did you record some shows without Spencer? No, I did not. Okay. We, we <laughs> have not done me. that yet. What, no, I've... I've because we've I know you were talking. traveling uh, independently. Yes. She wa yeah, we've talked about doing something where... We, but... Um, I don't know. We both like to do it. so We like, like to do it together. Yeah, and we we yeah. tend to be at enough of conferences together. On our own merits, by the way, we usually end up speaking on separate subjects. Mm -hmm. We just happen to be at the same place. Well, you're yeah. both from Missouri, right? 
We yeah. are. We're from yeah. the polar opposite ends. Yeah. Yes. We're, I'm at the better end, St. Louis. Oh. <laughs> Who's got better barbecue? That's what Kansas City know. always probably. has better barbecue. Uh, probably sorry. <laughs> it's, just, it's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. The, sorry. The answer is Texas. But, uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not scoring any points now. <laughs> Let's, oh, uh, no. Tell me about it. So you, you recorded this, and there's some software involved also. You edited it afterwards? Mm -hmm. Yes. Adobe Premiere Pro, which has That's been. That's what I use. Yeah. It has been um, the, a game changer. I hired a guy to to show me like how can I do these episodes as quickly as possible, oh. as nicely as possible. Yeah. And he said Premiere Pro, and he showed me a few really important things about that about that software that have made all the difference in the world. Because it, it, editing takes a lot of time. It does take a little more yeah. time than you expect. This is awesome. How did you guys get started doing this? What gave you the idea? You know, I was bemoaning, going around uh, YouTube, saying that I don't see a whole lot of really good content. I see a lot of longly drawn out tutorials where I have to listen to it or watch it on like times two speed. It was really kind of frustrating. Right. And um, I noticed that people just didn't get to the point. Mm. And so I was like, you know what? I, I think I could probably do this. I spent like six years doing theater before. And so I, mm. I knew I, was I not did not know that. Yeah. I'm not afraid of being in front of a crowd. I used to work for Disney as well. And so um, I, I really needed somebody else though, who was driven. And it's actually really difficult to find developers who are driven to pr do more than just code, to mm. do reaching out to the community and sharing. It's like a second job. Yes, it mm -hmm. really is. And so I knew that Spencer had really risen so quickly in the speaking community, yes, <laughs> we, yes, yes, apparently. yes, and and he just seemed like he really focused on things that, that mattered, and it, that's what allowed him to go forward uh. and so rapidly. And I said, you know, I think he'd be a really good person to do uh. this with, and we have such a yin and yang view of life as well. And so we kind of asked different kinds of questions mm -hmm. too for all of our guests. So I asked him, and luckily for me, he said yes, and has been definitely like the sixty percent of the sixty forty. A partnership because he does the editing too That's so hard. like we we talk about you know what what kinds of things we wanted to do how do we improve all that stuff but really this guy not only does he do consulting or uh, uh, you work for consultancy now right I work for a startup in St. Louis. Yeah. Now. Yeah, Close yeah, yeah. enough. Did, I did consultancy before. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I have a full-time job as well, but he does that. And then, you know, he, he's the one who takes all of our raw files later and puts them together. Mm -hmm. And so he's been the most awesome partner for this kind of a situation. But that's just my perspective on the startup. I don't want to put words in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. And working with Heather has been great. I mean, um, I was surprised when she approached me. She was like, I have this great <laughs> idea. And it took a while for us to execute on it. But um, it's mm -hmm. really been awesome. It you is, had it to go to Norway to execute on it. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. That's definitely no. That's definitely um, definitely one of the cooler parts. But uh, no, it's been really cool to to work with Heather and um, yeah. I would say that there's a there's a good um, kind of an interaction between us mm -hmm. and um, and to meet all the cool people that we get to meet uh, who are like super nice and yeah but yeah. we just had to be unafraid like it was just one of those well if we're gonna do it let's let's do it yes big. there's there's yeah. no there's no doubt that there are technical flaws with like I, I mean even today i mean it's not a perfect execution mm -hmm. but one things that one of the things that i've learned uh, that i we we've, we've learned is that um really vulnerability will set you free and even though it that may not true. be perfect uh. we're going to put it out there and people have been really really uh, really awesome the response has been really good and we have to be patient because mm. it takes a time to create a youtube following like yeah. it takes a long time most people don't come out and immediately have a bunch of followers but mm. what the great things about us is our speakers already do and so they'll also put that out there as well and over time as long as we start building up that library people will come and watch it and yeah. we we've, yeah. we've discovered that um, it, the speakers actually enjoy the process and sometimes it can be really stressful to be interviewed for things like this and but most of them have been like wow that just went so fast and it didn't seem yeah. like it was that taxing uh -huh. you know so they if they're having a good time and we're having a good time I'm sure you know this from your own and from podcast. being on your show Yes, yeah, yes, <laughs> that it, it's so much easier to do when you don't feel like you have the same pressures as a big talk mm. oh, great yeah 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 yeah. Uh, so you're um, you're going to keep on doing this. Any any plans to change it and evolve it further? Or I think I think I mean it's it's changed even from the beginning. I mean the the first idea was really to do like 
to actually have a few different segments, but I think that the what we what Heather called five minutes of mastery, which is five to ten depending on the person. Mm -hmm. right. Some people are more long winded than ten even. Yes, that's um, true. Has really been like the core of the show, and so we just decided to focus on that one element. And I don't cool. know that I don't think we have any plans to like change that. It's been a it's that that one thing yep. as is perfect. But it's o it also depends on what we do with our lives too, because. One thing that was important to me is that we put each other in, in first, not just the show. Like mm -hmm. it was one of those, if we have personal things going on, that we work around it. And that has allowed us over the past year to build a lot of trust and co collaboration with mm -hmm. each other. So now we figured out, hey, when I'm busy, you can do that. When you're busy, I can do that. And it has become something that this is a very organic growth. This is yeah. natural growth. Um, if we wanted to, we could focus a whole lot of time and additional money on it. But... I learned this from YouTubers. You don't have to have a lot of money to get this started. It doesn't have to be something that you hire a crew for. It can be something that as long as you have a genuine interest in what this is, you should continue. Yep. And the moment that you have no more interest in it, that's when you should shut it down. Yeah. But so far, I think that if we decide to add a segment or we decide to do like an like a reporter based kind of thing, like if he goes off to a conference and decides to go do something, maybe we'll add that. Maybe that'll be something that we do. Um, but right now we have so many people and so many thoughts, like even one person, we've had repeats already because they have another thing to share with us. Right. That was great for our content. I think, I think Jimmy Bogard leads the, he's done two and, and, Damian. Then he'll, and he'll do the live show too. That's true. I yes. guess that, that makes yes. him three times. Mm, yeah. I think yeah. Jimmy Bogart the is the best. Yeah, I think the biggest change was... I think was he's been on my show twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's got a lot to say. <laughs> um, I think the biggest change was just doing the live show. I don't know who even came up with the idea. Somebody suggested it to me. You did? Uh, I, I did not. I did not. I think it was actually Justin James. And he was like, you should guys should do a live show. And I was like, oh, okay. So I submitted it and didn't really think anything of it, but that it has been a really that has been a really cool. So thing. it's its own session. So we right. su submit it to a conference and say, "Well, we can do this if you want," mm -hmm. you know. But that requires us being in your space and in one of your rooms, and right. so with an audience. Right. Um, we didn't know what was going to happen, but we had a full room for in London. Full. Yes. We had the largest room there, and that nice. was just crazy to see. I mean, we we're not kidding ourselves. It was definitely our our guest. That that brought that yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but it was just it was it was so fun and energetic to watch it, and I loved watching a panel that was not a panel you're used to. It was definitely not the same as what you when you go to see a panel at a conference. Yeah. That's usually somebody asking a question. In this case, it was like, "What's on your mind? You got you got seven eight minutes. Get <laughs> up there and yep. talk to us about it." And then the panel asks questions, and then let's switch to the next person. And it actually worked really well for flow. Mm, yes. Yeah, it really did. Yeah. And it and it goes by like that. Like it it doesn't drag on and on. And and we didn't ever allow one person to dominate the conversation. Everybody really got their time. Yeah. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see uh, where things well take us. This is awesome. People were now they've seen this show. They're gonna watch your show. Where where do they find us? Uh, you can go to the dot hw dot show. Okay. And, and that, that will redirect to the YouTube channel. Yep. Yep. Redirect to YouTube channel. You can find us at the hw show on Twitter. And we, we tweet out lots of pictures of everybody uh, that we take yeah. interviews with. So awesome. We're looking forward to having you on our show I'm as well. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing myself on it. I'm going to go back and watch some of those panels as well. <laughs> right and I expect that my 12 subscribers will flock <laughs> to your show. So expect <laughs> that bump in the next couple of days. Well, it was great. Guys, yes. thanks a lot. It's a real pleasure. And good luck. Technology is awesome, and we're all friends. <laughs>